Hey friends, it's Andrew from Reselling the Freedom. Welcome to my car. I haven't done come with me for a full day in quite some time and Mondays, which is today, are my busiest days. So we are heading to the warehouse now. I have Cheerios with me from the warehouse from the Costco delivery because I eat Cheerios every day. So let's go move unsold item from the auction that ended on Saturday, move everything over from the current auction and meet a bunch of customers. It might be a little bit slower of a pickup day because it absolutely poured this morning. And because I know my customers so well, I've helped some of them load stuff into their trucks. And I know people who want bigger items are not gonna wanna put like an arcade game in the back of the pickup truck while it's still trying to rain. So uh, let's eat some Cheerios. We have to go to the post office to drop off eBay packages. We have to go to UPS to ship the real, real packages. I pulled over maybe 17 items yesterday to send to the real, real because I just have too much stuff and my eBay room is small. I'd like to go to the dollar store to see if I can find a clipboard because I don't want to spend like six bucks on a clipboard because sometimes I'm cheap. For us, when we pull everything over, it's a lot easier with our cards if we have it on a clipboard instead of just our hand or a random box. And my dad might stop by the warehouse today. Maybe I'll see if I can get him in here with us. He probably won't. All right, so uh, let's get to work. It's about one o'clock. I have made it to the post office, UPS, car wash, Target, dollar store. I wanted to get my clipboards. I got two clipboards for a dollar 25, better than Amazon. And Office Depot had like a four pack for, I don't know, like 15 bucks. I'm like, no, no, I just want, preferably in pink, but they didn't have any. So I just got two clipboards. We can use everything. We have moved over, I think we have eight sheets on the current auction. So after it starts, I print them all on Excel spreadsheet because I'm a giant nerd. And I reformat the entire page so we have their ID number, the location, and the items. We pull everything from inventory and move it to customer pickup. We've had probably five people stop in to pick up their stuff, which is slower than on a Monday, which is absolutely okay. Plus my dad paid me a visit here. So we're gonna move up with the rest of the stuff. I have already moved unsold items back into inventory and there was only 15 things that didn't sell. If you guys look back in the old videos from like, I don't know, a year ago, we had an entire truck of blinds delivered. We are still sorting through those blinds, still. So I think there was maybe eight or 10. I pulled back over a few random dog things we moved, but I got rid of the most of the random small things that haven't been selling. Instead of moving them from inventory to customer pickup, oh, they didn't sell, move them back to inventory the next week. Oh, put them back in customer pickup. Oh, they didn't sell. Rinse and repeat, I'm starting a bin of just random stuff and we're just gonna auction that entire box of stuff off. It's random li little stuff. Or we've had so many of them, people don't want anymore. So we're gonna keep moving. At this pace, we might be able to make it through all 300 items that are on the current auction. Last week, I think by Tuesday at noon, we had everything moved. And that includes this morning lumping customer stuff together that already know that they're coming. Let me take you over there and show you. So behind me in this row, everything is lumped together by a customer. If they have a lot of items, if they don't live close, and I know they'll take a few weeks before they pick everything up, we just lump them together. This is my bin of random, random stuff and a broken 106 quart tote. But this makes everything so much easier. The first two rows behind me are just our regular customer pickup. So we can literally stand in the middle and reach like everything. It makes it so much faster than that side. And once we're done rearranging everything and we're just process and move, it will make life so much easier. We're not quite there. The other side of this room is still full of garbage. I have lots of cardboard. I'm gonna probably take Thursday just to get rid of it, but let's go move some more stuff around. Months ago when we first started doing everything and moving everything from inventory to customer pickup, we would literally just use our hands and carry it and make a pile right in the middle of the floor. Now, these carts, and this is a smaller one, this is Betty, Betty 2.0. It's a lot easier just to load everything on the cart and move it down the hallway. So I have two of the girls on the other side putting things in the customer pickup and I'm moving the carts down to them. And I'm on the last page. There's a few things we need to move in the middle and then that's it for the day. So that is productive because it's 300 items. But moving things on the cart, down the hallway, putting them on shelves we can walk down the hallway with. It's beautiful. Everything has been moved. I've already started to double check my sheets. So at the end, I go through the sheets because you know, we're human, we make mistakes. I made it through the third item. I was like, oops, I grabbed the wrong box. Let me switch those around. Because I have double sold items before. I've caught bef items before they've been double sold. So I don't want to ever do that. So it'll probably take me, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes 
to sort through all of my sheets to make sure everything is in customer pickup and not in inventory. That way nothing is double sold. I just had a customer come in and she's like, oh, why do your shelves look empty? I said, don't worry, we're moving our stuff to the other side. We just pulled everything over. So it does look a little weird. Like I even noticed it earlier. I can see through my shelves. I'm like, oh God, I need more stuff. And then I remembered, all the dudes looked down my hallway and you can't even see the other side of the hallway because there's so much stuff down there. And I have another delivery this week, which is totally fine. So it's just weird when people come in, they're like, oh, they get kind of nervous. Are you closing up? No, no, no. Just cleaning, rearranging, moving stuff to the other side. I have one more person coming in. I've made no eBay sales today. I just dropped off stuff this morning. I've already listed one item. I've tweaked one item that's already listed. I'm gonna go home and take more pictures. I have purses to list. I They're kind of vintage coach purses that a friend gave me. And they actually sell decent and relatively quickly. We've already moved a few of them. That's why I shipped this morning. I'm gonna add a little photo of it here. But I think that'll be it for today. The next person should be here in about a half an hour. Whenever I see his name pops up, I know he's gonna be like a Monday evening because most people work during the day. I totally get it. You can't come in on a Tuesday at two o'clock. So I think that's it for now. Let me give you a quick tour of uh, my shelves. So it is weird when I can see through this one, through that one and through the back wall by that green door. But that's just cause the stuff that was there were bigger items. So if you move that one thing, half the shelf is gone. But I think that's it for today. Thanks for coming along with me. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you next time.